You smell like a whorehouse. What? How would you know? I know a lot more than you think. Now go get 50 pounds of pinto beans. Something wrong? Oof. Nobody light a match. Keep an eye out for Ludi and his boy. Pardon me. Who belongs to the Palomino outside? She belongs to all of us. That's Lonely, the gunfighter I told you about. All right, I'll make it easy for you. Who was riding her a couple of hours ago on the trail south of town? Now, mister, whatever it is you want, I'm sure that'd be me. Ah. Well, you owe me an apology, boy. Sounds fair to me. For what? for the mud bath I took when you spooked my horse. Well, if I spooked your horse, I didn't mean to. No, that doesn't sound like an apology to me. Sorry. But apologizing is something I only do on Sundays. Today is Tuesday. Oh, you have no manners. Did your mother breed you in a gutter? Don't you talk about her! I've wasted enough of my time now, boy. Uh, either you apologize now as though you mean it, or step outside where I'll exact restitution. You crazy? I'm waiting on you. Don't be a fool, he's a hired killer. You called me out. Saved your friend's life, for now. So what's going on here? What? Okay. Jimmy had a oh, that kind of a spell. <sighs> he ain't been feeling too good. He passed out. Well, get him home. What are you doing here, Longley? Hey. Oh, nothing that concerns you. Hey, everything concerns me. Well, I'm just waiting for somebody. Who? Business associate. Well, you got 48 hours. Fair enough. Say, who's that crazy kid? No one you need to know. Well, whoever he is, he's a prime candidate for an early grave. Could be. But I don't want you putting him there. No, I'm not looking for trouble. But I see it in his eyes. Sooner or later, one of us is going to have to take him on. Well, it's going to have to be later. Somewhere else. Hey, Kane. I'd be doing you a favor. What are you looking at? That's horse. Get! Get! Get, cut me loose! Cut me loose! Hey, Buck, cut him loose. 
right, Buck. Cut me loose. Supplies can be tiresome, but I never did know it to start a war. <laughs> You ever do that again? It's gonna be you and me. Yeah, have some sense. I wouldn't have had you. Sense? You heard what he called my mother. But he ain't so sense. You pushed him. Now that's better. Somebody want to tell me what's going on here? Jimmy was gonna draw down on that gunfighter I saw along there. He asked for it. He called me. He tried to make a fool out of me, Emma. Maybe you don't have any sense at all. First you pick a fight with a hired gun, then you drag your friends into it. It's his doing, not mine. You know trouble with you, boy. Too damn hot for your own good. I got just the thing to cool you down. Want some? telling me what we're doing here? Sweat. I know that. Seems like you got yourself all tied up in knots over this fella Longley. I told you, Teaspoon, he insulted my mama. I know. Full of demons, ain't you? Hurt and anger. Now you're gonna have to find another way to get him out. Hickok, if human beings was meant to fight every time they took umbrage, we'd all have leathery skin, a lot longer teeth, maybe one or two horns up top of our head. Son, you gotta learn control. See, sweating like this can drive them demons away. It may seem a puzzlement. Sometimes it takes a hot place to cool a man's fire. But I can't breathe in here. No, but a soul sure can. Why, why do you always have to talk so crazy, Teaspoon? I'm talking about breathing. The air. And there ain't none in here. Relax, boy. You're breathing too hard. And you gotta concentrate. Slow and easy. That's the key. I said concentrate, damn it. I am concentrating. Good. I'll try to relax. Oh. I, I am relaxed. Don't look like it. Oh. Oh, that's better. Mm -hmm. 